I eat here all the time in New York. There's one in uh, the village. Different, it's all different sizes of sockets. Hey guys, welcome back. I have some wrenching to do today. Uh, getting organized for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have a nice uh, ride. The whole gang is gonna meet up and uh, ride on the Pent, uh, I mean on the border between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It's gonna be on the Delaware. Uh, I think it's New Hope or Hope Town, I forgot. I'll, uh, that's tomorrow, but I have to get the, the bike ready. Uh, the electric glide ready for the ride tomorrow. And I just opened up, went through the bags and found that I have actually an item that I uh, bought down by Ocean City at the time. It's a horn that I found by Amsoil's, uh, Amsoil's tent over there. And it was a very, very loud horn. So this is gonna be a, a short and easy install a little bit wrenching uh, and uh, stay alone for the ride. Oh yeah, and while uh, while I'm working, I'll show you a really nice little excursion I had yesterday with the wife, and it was a really delicious, uh, delicious treat. See, that's what I found. Screaming Banshee, the mini. We're gonna get this uh, horn bell, horn cover off with this uh, bolt over here. Swap whatever's inside. I'm taking out these, these two bolts that were holding this bracket. Now this plug, black lift, and it's out. Now get this one out. Play around with different, it's all different sizes of sockets. This one happens to be a 10 metric, 10 millimeter. So I'll just play around until you find the right one. I don't know why Harley keeps going between metric and standard. Anyway, this is the main, this is the main bolt that holds the horn in place and it's out. There's the cover right there. Let's see if I can find the rating on it. I was going to actually, uh, you know, uh, measure the decibels, how, how loud it is, but my neighbors are going to go crazy, but I know the one I got is very uh very loud much louder than this guy so you'll just have to trust me on this there it is that's the one i got uh, again like at uh ocean city the mini screaming banshee 126 decibels loud that's what it says 126 uh, decibels loud i don't know how uh how loud these stock but uh this is it i mean i tested it out uh with glenn and it was very loud that's the that's the uh the horn. Yeah, and it slides. It slides right in. Obviously blue look Loctite. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure to put right over here on the top one right this one make sure you put this guy in i'll show you now how it's done you see like that and then all, all is left to do is bolt i mean uh connect the black to the to this one and the red to the back and then bolt this one back up now before i tighten it down let me just make sure that it's uh that it's working it sounds like a car. <laughs> you know why, while I'm wrenching this uh, uh, down, tightening it, I'll take a look at uh, a nice little excursion I did yesterday. So it's me and pretty wife on the way to Hoboken. 
Uh, we're going to pick up uh, my uh, oldest daughter. She lives in Brooklyn. She's coming to visit us, so she's going to take the path. Before we're going to pick her up, we're going to stop at a place to eat. One of the guys we ride with, uh, Nadal, has this, uh, has this restaurant, this place where he has Middle Eastern food. And he always brags about his great falafel. He doesn't brag, he talks about his great falafel and this tongue twister, listen to this, it's called shawarma. I don't know if you guys know what it is. I'm gonna check it out. Anyway, quite a few rides, he's been inviting us all. Uh, and uh, people actually, we did go and uh, ended up at his place and enjoyed great food. Thing is, the couple of times that uh, the ride ended over there and had uh, everybody had a great feast, I was never there, so I've actually never uh, had his food. He kind of considers me the authority or the guy that knows what Middle Eastern food is because I have a Middle Eastern palate myself. So it was really bummed that the last few times I couldn't be there and uh, check out his food. So he doesn't know I'm coming, I'm gonna surprise, he's not there. But I'm gonna go to one of his places and, and I'm gonna try the try his falafel and try his shawarma and post it without him, him even knowing. So actually, if you see this, that means uh, that it passed my uh, my test. My uh, it meets my standard because uh, I'm not gonna post anything uh, you know that's that's bad. Uh, if it's not good enough, I simply don't post it, even when I review uh, items. Oh yeah, I forgot to say one more interesting thing. Uh, we were riding with Nadal for about a year now, and he never, we didn't, we didn't know that he's a big shot, that he has, his, apparently his restaurant, uh, Mamoun's, Mamoun's Falafel, is a well-known place, like it's a, the biggest name, and we had no clue, we had no idea. So he's, he's very humble and, and didn't brag about it, and that's very nice of him. And Wifey took only falafel bowls, so once when my daughter gets here, she'll be she's on her way, she'll be here in like 10 minutes. We'll order the falafel and we'll try that as well. Like the falafel uh, sandwich. So these are falafel bowls. My wife will in, will inspect it. Oh that's hot sauce. That is the shawarma. Okay, my wife is inspecting the falafel balls. How is it? Really good? And she, like she's a falafel expert. And it's like she doesn't, she doesn't have the whole, the whole salad and pizza. She just has that, putting tina on it. And it's really good, that's what she says. I'm gonna try one as well. Mm -hmm. Chaim. Chaim. Sandy style. Yeah. Approved. Really good. Let's go for the uh, for the shawarma. Now, what is shawarma? Sh shawarma is uh, is meat that is on a skewer. It's like a rotisserie, but it's vertical and it spins. And then there's a heat grill, like a flame coming from the side. And as it's spinning, it's burning the outer portion of the meat. But then you carve with a knife or uh, any, some kind of tool, the outer part, and it falls to the bottom and you grab whatever's on the bottom. And you can have different kinds of uh, a shawarma. Traditionally, and like the top, top quality is uh, made of lamb. And this one is lamb. We're gonna, I just can't wait to, to dig in, to bite in. And um, you put it in this pocket bread called pita, which also, having the good uh, right pita is also an art of its, as it, uh, of its own. There's the fake shawarma, which they take cheaper meat, which is, uh, which, thank you, wife. She gave me uh, more leftovers from the falafel.
but really good. Anyway, you take um, the fake, fake shawarma, I would say fake shawarma, but the, the lesser shawarma is you take uh, turkey, turkey, and top them one on top of the other on, the, on that skewer, and then you put on the top some uh, lamb fat, and that drips on the meat as it's being uh, cooked, then you slice that. So let's give this one a try. This is supposed to be lamb. Oh. Wifey here is saying that the falafel is really good. It's, it's fresh, meaning it was just, just came out of the, uh, Right, this is really good. And what it is, it's pita with salad, Mediterranean salad, and the lamb. And you put tahini on the top. A little bit of hot spicy sauce. I'm not going to put a lot because uh, I don't roll like it too hot. Now look at this. Mm. This is good shit. Middle Eastern music in the background. The real, the real experience. Really good. Oh, this is really hot. Oh. Too hot for me. Too hot for me. <laughs> A little bit too much. Usually sloppy. A sloppy meal because the tahini you put too much comes out of the bottom and it's delicious. Nadal really, really, really you did it. Really good. Tell your dad he's got some quality food over here. Here's beautiful daughter. Here's beautiful daughter. Hi, hi, hi sweetie. Hey. hey. Come here the cars. Nikki just, Nikki just showed up. She's gonna grab her falafel because she's, she's vegan. Look how pretty. Look how pretty she is. She's my oldest, my, my oldest one. Uh, gonna treat her to a falafel. Yeah, it's the least you can do. And you do this. How about you? Ooh, ooh, my two gorgeous women. She's gonna be an actress. Yeah, I am. She's an actress. She knows, she knows her falafel, that girl. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. Very yummy. Made of ground chickpeas, cilantro, parsley, uh, a lot of uh, spices and deep, deep fried and tastes really, really good. And it's, it's vegan. There's no, there's no uh, living animal involved except the one eating it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tahini is also very good. Yeah. Mm. Stuff is great. I eat here all the time in New York. There's one in uh, the village. It's yummy. It's the only late night vegan spot open late. Mm. Nadal, you got my daughter's approval as well. Keep it up. Looks good, huh, that food. Anyway, I'm done over here. Uh, that was very easy to do. Okay, I cleaned up all the mess, uh, all the tools that I had. Uh, I'm gonna do a little walk around. You see both bikes, they're out here. Oh yeah, completely forgot to tell you guys. I just launched a website, my website. It's at holyshift.us. Check it out, www.holyshift.us. Over there, you can find uh, links to all the 
you know, parts, information, uh, and links to all the parts and upgrades I did on my bike where you can find them. Both bikes will have, uh, currently only the 2020 electric glide standard has, you know, all the parts, most of the parts. If there are parts that you don't uh, see over there and you want to know, I also have them down by every description of the video or just sh uh, shoot me an email. Uh, there's a contact uh, form over there. Shoot me an email about anything, by the way. So uh, in the near future, should be getting some merchandise, stickers, hats. So check out that website. And, uh, let's do the walk around. Not a big difference, but a noticeable difference with the sporty. Down by the comments, let's see who writes it first. Let's see who noticed it first. That's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoy this uh, short uh, install uh, upgrade of uh, the horn of the 2020 Electric Light Standard horn. It was easy. Hope you enjoyed that a little restaurant, that food run. That was really good. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Until the next video, guys, peace out. Right.